It's like the golden hour. The weird color, this part rainbow, blue with the clouds. Got sunset happening. It's raining. My morning routine, walking down the wet pavement, collecting worms for the chickens. Ready for your bucket of worms? Ooh. Big bucket today. Okay, let's see here. All right, it is Sunday, February 13th, the day before Valentine's Day, and it's the Super Bowl day, and I am going to get out here and get started on some indoor seed starting, uh, since I don't care much about football. Um, I am starting a few varieties, and I'm gonna do some extra for some friends and family. I've got some basil Thai Tower, so it's kind of a tall var uh, variety eggplant, patio baby, and tomato veranda, which is also like a dwarf or a patio kind of container type one. So I'm going to get that started here in a sec. All right, so I got my seed starting mix right here that I'm just gonna moisten and uh, go ahead and pre kind of mix it with some water so that the seeds don't dislodge when um, they're in the little pots. And then I've got a water jug that I'm gonna try and do some tomato starts in. Got my little tags. Uh, I got some toilet paper rolls. I'm gonna do that, I think. Try to reuse some of those and I used them last year and they actually broke down really nicely versus the uh, peat moss kind of little trays that did not break down very quickly in the soil for me. Um, got a couple orange juice jugs I could use as little kind of humidity domes if I want to. And then I have a few things. These guys I'm going to go ahead and maybe start outdoors. Some uh, carrots, arugula, and some uh, radishes and Swiss chard. So I'll probably start those on the side of the house today in a container. And then the uh, other seeds that I'm starting. The basil Thai towers, which gets uh, pretty tall, which was interesting. The eggplant patio baby. And tomato veranda. So here we go. Throw them off. How are you doing? Huh? How are you doing? Strong, huh? I think this is his way of playing. I feel like I'm about to film something that's going to go on fail army. <laughs> fail army. <laughs> so, getting the garden trellis ready to plant on. We are about mid-March here. I think we're gonna get bulk soil here soon to put on top of all this stuff that I laid down the tarp, killed the grass, did a bunch of cardboard, then we did a bunch of this free mulch, and then uh, all the chicken bedding. And now we're reusing poles that were left behind. Here, I'll talk about that real quick. Sure. So we're trying to repurpose as much as we can to try to save money because a lot of this material is expensive. To give you kind of an idea, a roll of this stuff and I think I can't remember if it was a 50 foot roll or a hundred foot roll but we're looking at a hundred dollars so we had a we had a pre-existing roll of the four footer we went back bought a three footer spent a hundred bucks today on a roll of the three foot hog wire and we're using these poles that we have on the property from the previous owners and using just a little thing of wire to just attach it to the poles we pounded these poles three feet in the ground we cut uh, 10 11 foot poles pound them in the ground and we're gonna put this up. These plastic PVC pipes are the strong ones. They don't crack. They're supposed to last really good in the, in the weather outside. These are about 550 a piece. And uh, what we'll do is we'll just do a chicken wire. The chicken wire is a little bit uh, cheaper and uh, easier, easier to apply. 
Hopefully we have enough right here if because I think it might take one or two passes on the top. Um, so hopefully we have enough right here. If not, well, usually a roll of this, uh, like, I don't know what the feed is, I think but it was 20, yeah, 20, 20 bucks or less. it's not too bad, you know, because we're just we're just using this just for the top. So, and then we'll zip tie, we'll use these zip ties that are uh, UV protection so they don't break uh, under the, the stress of the sun and the elements and stuff like that. They'll last a, little, a lot longer. Um, to use the metal ties on the PVC, that's a little too much. So zip ties, we'll just do that and then snip them. Well, into that's the... left over from the chicken coop netting Yeah, Yeah, absolutely. Canopy. Yeah, we're trying to <laughs> reuse as much of our materials as possible instead of going out buying all brand new. But it is a, it is a two-person process. The reason that this walkway right here is narrow because I know some people are going to be like, oh, you're you're kind of off. <laughs> so, yes. down. Let's look at it for <laughs> So, So, two feet down, there is a big boulder. And we need to go an extra foot so the pole stays stiff and it's not wiggling and falling over in, in, in the wind or whatever. So, because once we get the beans on this with all the, the, the leaves and everything, it's it the wind is going to hit it and it's going to do a little bit of stress, right? So, we kept going this way, that way, this way, and this boulder that's about two feet down is huge and we just can't get around it. And to dig up, go two feet down, it that's, that's a whole day just to dig up, get the pry bar out and everything. I'm not messing with that. So, we went in a little bit and then we, we got to the edge of the boulder and went down. So, the opening is narrow. So that's 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 the only that's the only thing that I was kind of disappointed in. Other than other than that, the ground is not quite uh, level. The ground is kind of a little bit of an arch. So we tried to kind of get it the pipes as level as possible because like some of them we went down and we hit a rock or whatever and we said okay the pipe is stiff enough. So, but to give you kind of an idea, we're gonna put up a third uh, a second layer for three feet tall and then start applying our chicken wire. We're hoping we can get it done today before the rain hits in a few, in a few hours. Cause it's gonna rain for a solid week. Yep, that's it, that's all I gotta say. Ooh, but let's go through it. See, I'll just go through and pick all the beans and cucumbers, gourds, tunnel here. I think it's probably about three feet wide. And then we stopped it short of going to the fence just so we have clearance with a wheelbarrow. Ooh, nice, Max. Walk that runway. My good garden model. <laughs> and good job, Miley. Okay.